Yeah, you're. I wasn't really too concerned about trying to uh, outscore anybody. What up, Bob? Uh, I just wanted to get this win. Uh, we had a tough one last game in the Southern Bowl, so <clears throat> we needed a good win tonight. What's it mean to sweep the team in general? 4 0. I haven't even thought about it. You know, it'd be better if we was a uh, top four season in the East. Uh, but right now, we're still on the outside looking in. So um, it doesn't feel too good right now. How did you feel about the team with the triple double? I was happy for him. You know, we were trying to find ways to get him a triple double. He was jumping over my back for rebounds <laughs> and stuff like that. But uh, just uh, happy he got me. It's, it's, it's not easy, you know, um, to, to get a triple double. Um, Especially this, this year of basketball, so for them to do that, for yeah. us to get a big win, you know, it was very special. So very happy for the way he's been playing uh, this last month, month and a half. We just got to keep it up. I mean, Dwight, that 10 run you guys into the first half with mm -hmm. came out with a 9 1 run, 19 to 4. How do you think that set the tone there for the whole rest of the game? Oh, well, that's the thing that <clears throat> Coach has been talking about, uh, been talking about uh, since shoot around. He's uh, starting to set the tone. Um, we come out and we, we start hitting shots and we play good defense and kind of gets everybody's uh, mojo going. So uh, we got to try to find a way to uh, repeat that in this game. And uh, we do that, you know, we should have a little I know you mentioned about Nate, about the triple double, but also set a franchise record in assists for a triple double tonight with 16. Most of those went to you in the post. Again, uh, what more can you say about him and his play here? Well, I think when he uh, plays that way, when he's facilitating, he's finding guys, making easy shots, he's making everybody's game better. And uh, we, we, tend, we tend to win big when he does that. So uh, we just got to continue to play that way. And uh, hopefully uh, this game in New York, we can get another win. I know you guys, if you move around a little bit, you don't ever really say that you want to try to stick it to your old team. But I feel like all season long in four games, you kind of played a little angry when you come out here and played against Atlanta. Um, kind of what, what was to angry. that? I'm not angry. Um, it's a business. Uh, my time here was, was pretty uh, good. It's a lot of learning lessons. Um, it didn't uh, go well the way I think the, the people there in Atlanta and myself wanted to go. But, um, everything happens for a reason. motivated me to uh, just come back this season uh, with a different mindset, uh, play with more confidence and stuff like that. So uh, thank you, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Right. March is Women's History Month. Um, you're a big advocate of women's basketball, you know, a big supporter of the Atlanta Dream. Can you share with us a uh, woman who on the court inspires you? Women who inspire me on the court. Oh, wow. Well, I just enjoy women's basketball as a whole. Um, I think uh, you know, women in general have always been put to the side when it comes to sports. And uh, you know, just they're talented. You know, sometimes there's a lot of women who play better than men. Uh, but I've always enjoyed you know, watching you know, women play basketball in any other sport. Um, and I'm always going to be a supporter of our women. You know, I have two daughters at home. Grow up and be very successful. You know, it doesn't matter if they play basketball or any sport, uh, but just be successful and not be dependent, you know, on somebody else you know, to make a way for them. So, you know, just try to teach my my, my kids you know, that you know they can go get it for themselves. You know, once they do that, you know, a man is going to respect them more for them being able to go out and get it themselves. Now, see, Angel McCarty is back this season. She took out uh, the Atlanta Dream. She took the season off. Talk about what that means for the city and for the Atlanta Dream. It's going to be great. You know, uh, I've always been a big fan of hers. I enjoy watching her play. Um, I think the city's going to be excited to have her back. And, uh, I think this year's going to be a really big year for the Dream. I'm looking forward to uh, coming in the summer and watching the play. Thank you, guys.